Happy Caldia boys everyone, Sobro Neo GNA Reviews here with a Servant Spotlight 4. We'll be examining his stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize him effectively and an overall grade comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have a spotlight out for the 5 star event servant, Amaka Sashiro, up on the channel as well so do check that out right after this. Now onto Astolfo's stats. Astolfo has a max HP of 11,172, which is average for a 4 star rider, but low when compared to all other 4 star servants, and his attack of 8,937 is on the low end of 4 star riders and also on the low end of all 4 stars overall. Taking a look at his skills, his first skill is Monster Strength Rank C-, which increases his attack for one turn between 8 to 28% depending on level. His second skill is Down with a Touch Rank D, which has between a 60 to 90% chance to inflict stun depending on level. And finally his last skill is Disappearing Reason Rank D, which gives him a 65% chance to gain between 5 to 10 crit stars per turn for 3 turns, a 65% chance to increase crit star drop rate between 30 to 50% for 3 turns, and a 65% chance to increase crit strength between 20 to 40% for 3 turns. This can be upgraded through a strengthening quest, which will add the effect of increasing your Noble Phantasm gauge between 30 to 50% depending on level. Moving on to his passives, he has Magic Resistance Rank A, which increases debuff resist by 20%, Riding Rank A+, which increases Quick Card Effectiveness by 11%, and Independent Action Rank B, which increases Critical Strength by 8%. As for his deck and Noble Phantasm, Astolfo has a full-on Quick deck with Quick Quick Quick, Arts Buster, and a Quick Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm is Hippogriff which deals heavy damage to all enemies that ignores defense with between a 600 and 1000% damage modifier. It also grants him evade for 3 times and between 5 to 25 crit stars depending on overcharge. This can be strengthened through an interlude which will increase the damage modifier to between 800 to 1200% depending on level and the crit stars to between 10 to 30 depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits two times, his arch card hits two times, his buster hits once, and his extra attack hits four times. He has a noble phantasm gain rate of 0.66% and a star rate of 9%. And this translates into horrible noble phantasm gain due to the low hits and only one arts card, and low star generating due to the low hits on his quick cards. Let me start off by saying Astolfo is love, Astolfo is life, and he is one of the few things that kept me watching Apocrypha. But unfortunately, Fate Grand Order doesn't do him justice. Astolfo is a terrible rider for a number of reasons. Let's start off with his skills. Astolfo's first skill, Monster Strength, provides him with a respectable 28% attack buff, which seems good at first, but the huge downside is that it only lasts for a single turn. For perspective, that is actually the worst monster strength skill in the game. Tamamo Cat, for example, gets a 30% buff for two turns, and it's the same with Medusa, who's a three star rider. The one turn limit on an otherwise okay attack buff really hurts Astolfo's sustained damage capabilities, especially considering his below average attack. His second skill, Down with a Touch, does provide a pretty strong stun, which gives him some handy utility. But even that has a big downside in the form of a really long 8 turn cooldown at max rank. And again, for reference, Medusa has a stronger stun with a 6 turn cooldown. So Astolfo and Medusa share 2 of their 3 skills, and Medusa has an objectively better version of both those skills. Thankfully though, Astolfo's 3rd signature skill is his best. Disappearing Reason packs 3 strong buffs into one skill and post interlude it gives a massive noble phantasm charge of 50%. Such a boost is rare outside of the caster class and disappearing reason gives Astolfo the ability to be a strong crit servant both capable of producing a ton of crit stars and using them to deal high damage. But just like with Astolfo's other skills the major downside on this one is that it's completely RNG based outside of the noble phantasm charge. Each effect only has a 65% chance of activating and they all activate independently of each other, so the chances of activating all three skills at once is low. 
more than likely you'll get one or two random buffs making the skill completely unreliable and more a gamble than anything else. I recommend leveling Monstrous Strength first just for the guaranteed damage followed by Disappearing Reason and then down with a touch. You can level Disappearing Reason first because it is technically the best benefit and best scaling skill. It's just too unreliable to invest in first in my opinion though. Astolfo's poor skills don't do him any favors since his stats aren't great to begin with and outside of crits he does very low damage because he only has one buster. But the worst part is his Noble Phantasm gain and star generating. Outside of a quick chain or Noble Phantasm, Astolfo's star generating is surprisingly bad given his quick deck and his Noble Phantasm gain is one of the worst in the game. If you do manage to get your Noble Phantasm off however, that's Astolfo's saving grace. Hippogriff isn't incredibly powerful or anything but it does do decent AoE defense piercing damage and more importantly it provides crit stars and grants Astolfo an evade for 3 hits. AKA it gives him a free protection from arrows which is great for saving for right before an enemy's Noble Phantasm. If this Noble Phantasm were spammable that effect alone would make Astolfo very powerful. But unfortunately it's not so while his Noble Phantasm is nice you'll have a tough time getting it off let alone spamming it. Despite all the problems Astolfo has though he can do well in the right teams. For one thing he has a strong quick deck going for him so even if he isn't the best star generator in the game he fits right at home in quick and crit teams pairing him alongside Jack, Mysterious Heroin X, Cursed Arm Hassan, Carmilla, Atlanta, Okita, and Skahawk can lead to a lot of star generating from quick chains alone and since Astolfo does have higher star weight than them he shouldn't have any problems collecting those crit stars. Skahawk and Atlanta in particular can also provide a very strong buff to Astolfo to help out his damage a bit. Also a good buffer like Waver, Hans, or Caesar can help Astolfo's damage since all three of them not only buff his crit damage but his overall damage as well. Astolfo is also a strong farming servant post interlude when he gets his Noble Phantasm charge so pairing him with other strong AoE riders like Medusa and Drake can create a very efficient farming team against doors. And speaking of riders I should mention although he's not going to be out for a while Ozymandias pairs perfectly with Astolfo probably more so than any other servant because of his protection from the sun god skill which increases the party's buff success rate by 40% meaning Astolfo's third skill will have a 100% chance of activating every time turning it from an unreliable skill into one of the best crit skills in the game. And finally if Noble Phantasm charge is an issue Neurobride and Tamamo can greatly accelerate Astolfo's Noble Phantasm gain. Astolfo's Bondcraft Essence is otherworldly Phantom Horse which boosts his Noble Phantasm damage by 30% and provides a one time evade for the party. This is a decent Bondcraft Essence but Astolfo doesn't Noble Phantasm enough to make full use of it. Instead focus on crit damage. Gudao or Noisy Obsession if you don't have it is great as are Moonlight Fest and Gem Magecraft and if you aren't using a pure crit Astolfo then go with Imaginary Around or Holy Night Sign instead. And if you're using him on your support list or to farm then go with Kaleidoscope Pre Strengthening Quest and Halloween Princess Post Strengthening Quest. Overall Astolfo is very disappointing as a 4 star rider he just doesn't hold up well due to very poor skills, bad Noble Phantasm gain, lackluster crit gen and subpar stats. In fact both Ushi and Medusa as top tier 3 stars outperform Astolfo in everything from skills to damage. So it's hard to recommend using Astolfo, still though he does have a useful deck for quick teams and if you can support him with crit generators or reliably get off his third skill then Astolfo can definitely pull his weight plus he's a very good farmer so he gets a C for me. Essentially Astolfo meets the bare minimum requirements to be called a 4 star in my opinion. He isn't horrible and he can work in the right team but it takes a lot to get him going 
and from a pure gameplay perspective, you're better off with Medusa or Ushi. And those are my thoughts on Astolfo, one of the most disappointing servants to come out of FGO for sure, but still, Astolfo is best boy, so I encourage you all to roll for him anyway. I also have a spotlight up for Amaka Sashiro, linked in the description and on screen right now, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please join the party over at our Discord and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight, so Roni out, later.